Welcome to Primecast. My name is Jesse. Uh, Wyatt is not joining us today. Uh, he has some personal business to attend to. But uh, on a side note, I wanted to introduce a brand new co-host to Primecast. He's been a, a guest on here before, and we are going to welcome Sportimus. Hey everyone. A.K.A. Andrew, or A.K.A. Spoiler Sportimus, as I like to call him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, st- I'm I'm over it now. Just playing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just don't let it fucking happen again. Got it. All right, I promise. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about that for a while anyway. With uh, season two at a close. All right. Speaking of which, how are they uh, making the season two DVD come out so soon afterwards? I don't know. Okay, that's some pretty fast production time on Shout Produ- Shout Factory, huh? Yeah. Real fast turnover there. Mm-hmm. It has come out next month, I believe, right? December? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Uh, all right. So, uh, this I apologize because we may sound not as interested in some of these things we're about to talk to because this is our officially our third time trying to do this episode twice today, once last week. So we're going to be covering some of the stuff we've already talked about, and so. I'm going to be like doing some fake surprises. Ooh, I love fake surprises. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I well, just need to do a little introduction uh, for you. Uh, if you wanted to, some some people that may not be, be familiar with your YouTube channel, it's uh, YouTube.com/slash Um But for everyone else that's brand new to you, uh, give a brief introduction about you. Well, I do YouTube videos on Transformers. It's my main interest in, uh, as far as toys goes. Uh, I do like other toy lines, but Transformers is pretty much it for me. Uh, finished school recently, got my master's degree, uh, looking for a job, looking for money. Uh, anybody rich out there? No. Uh, that's about it so cool. far. What was your master's degree in? Business administration, concentration in healthcare. Awesome. I got a uh, bachelor's in graphic design and did absolutely nothing with it. I wish I would have gone for either uh, something like science or philosophy because that's stuff I'm really interested in now. I'm, I mean, I do art every now and then. Yeah. Like, uh, I have the same degree. I have a BA in that as well. Do you? Yeah. But uh, I, I would really, it was just a. Uh, kind of spurred a moment thing going yeah. for graphic design thinking I could do something in it but no um yep like I, I really cool. don't have much time for drawing anymore but I do do sketches every now and then when I'm yeah. feeling up to it uh any new purchases uh life news anything uh thug life related going on with <laughs> you thug <laughs> Nothing really thug life related, <laughs> but I did get uh, another Viacon, Robots in Disguise Viacon from the Prime line, Very and I cool. also got uh, that deluxe. Uh, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about. No, actually, I don't. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you don't. You're not psychic. No. Okay. Uh, uh, not Frenzy Rumble. Oh, Rumble, Rumble. Yeah, Rumble. Yeah. I have I, I have not seen any Rumbles or cups in stores. Well, they can't give cup away around here. Really? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, and he's not a bad figure. I I, I, just... I love the Ironhide I have. He's still kind of tiny, uh, a little smaller than I preferred, but yeah, still they're all smaller. <laughs> but yeah, I really like him. Uh, I, I if if I see the cup, I'll I'll probably get it just for the guns. Yeah. So I can put him because that big arms micron in gun mode looks really awkward just attached to his arm because it's just really wacky out of proportions big. Exactly. So yeah. I think those smaller uh, black guns would uh you don't hear small and black in the same sense very often, 
Um, <laughs> little smaller black guns would look a little bit better proportion wise on uh, on Ironhide. Um, uh, that is that it for you? Uh, oh, uh, masterpiece science. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. I am very, very tempted to get that figure, but but you know it's going to get a U.S. release, especially I mean as, as lower production cost figure. Well, if it does, I'll get that too. I just can't. I just couldn't wait. I just had to have it. Yeah. Uh, do you? Th- I mean, like, do you think they could do something like they did with the universe sideswipe, where they basically just like had two molds in one, where you just like kind of turn around and make a make a sunstreaker? Do you think they could do something like that with this masterpiece one? Um, let's see. They'd have to modify it a little bit, but it probably could be done. Like, is the hood of the car on his back? The the hood is fine. It's just the I mean, the roof part they'd have to modify. I mean, the roof, the roof. I, that's what I meant. Yeah. Is the roof on the back? On his back? Yeah, the roof's on the back. It's just, you know, if you, with Sunstreaker, you know, it's turned around the other way. You know, where the, yeah. the windshield's downward instead of facing upward. Mm-hmm. So you have to... You'd have to put in a, a swivel joint there to flip it around. Oh yeah. Well, it's, but, it's like it's it could be just like what they do with the universe, where they, but you basically just turn the arms and the the waist around. Yeah, I mean that could be done. It it, it I think it's possible. So uh, like if know. you were to take your side swipe right now, kind of, is there like a bicep swivel that you could turn the arms backwards? I think they could just well. You could, but the thing is, you'll see the screws. Right. So, I mean, so it's going to be easily done just with some modifications. Yeah. I think you just reverse the shoulders yeah. and uh, add, a, add a little swivel joint of some sort to turn that uh, roof around. Right. Because that figure does look really, really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, just, I would rather see it on stateside at a little bit cheaper because it is. If, a good deal smaller than the typical Takara masterpiece, isn't it? Yeah, but at the same time, they they had to scale it right. with the masterpiece Prime, so it's it's got to be. It would look stupid if he was the same size right. as Prime. So I mean, know, it, so. it would be a fair amount cheaper. Yeah, maybe about forty, fifty bucks in the U.S. I guess. Yeah, but, I think uh, uh, still worth it. If you get it. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not get anything toy related, but yesterday I did get the Amazing Spider-Man on Blu-ray. Awesome! Yeah, and I was watching that with uh, Zachary, my oldest son today, who's all into superheroes now. Tweeted a picture awesome. of him today of him as Captain America, and he likes it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yep. He has a Hulk costume, uh, and. His little brother has a Spider-Man costume. Um, that's about it. That's good. Yep. Uh, let's see. It's uh some some big news that just came out uh, today, I believe, is uh, Mark Wahlberg has been officially confirmed to uh, be cast in Transformers Four. Yeah, which I'm. I like that idea. I like Mark Wahlberg a lot. He's a great action actor. He's a great comedian actor. I, th- I he's probably one of my favorite favorite actors, and I'm happy that he's replacing Shia. Me too. Good riddance to Shia. Mm-hmm. Like, did you see Ted? No, I haven't. Oh my god, it was good. It was hilarious, and Mark Wahlberg yeah. was in that, and he was one of the best parts of that movie. Because he's he's just great. Uh, uh, ex- except for uh, the only movie I can think of that he really wasn't all that great in was uh, The Happening, which was kind of a crappy movie in and of itself. Yeah. Um. Uh. Did you read the whole interview that uh, Michael Bay gave MTV News? I read part of it. What What did he really? Did what? I didn't re- really read all that much into it. Did any interesting Neither keynotes? Did I. <laughs> Nothing. It just seems like they're really happy to go with that direction. Mm-hmm. I, I'm very happy. I guess. Uh, you know, she I just ran a buck. Mm-hmm. 
Shia stutters so much in those fucking movies. Shia, Shia, Shia whatever. Shia La Screams like a girl. Shia, yeah. Shia La Douchebag. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I, although, one movie that Shia was in that I did like was, um, Disturbia. Oh, did yeah. Did you see that movie? Yeah. I, I like that, that movie. Yeah. Came out... I just... I think he's a good actor. I just don't like his attitude. Right. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Uh, what uh, Michael Bay said in response to uh, Hugo Weaving, Hugo Weaving's interview. Yeah, with the the Megatron part. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, well, in yeah. short, that uh, Hugo didn't he didn't give two basically two shits about playing the part as Megatron. He felt real disconnected. That it, yeah. he had really no idea what he was even talking about, and basically Michael Bay came on and said, "Bash him, saying like how, how uh, uh, unappreciative Hugo Weaving is that like, every, while people are struggling for jobs, he's not really taking, uh, but really, what did he say? Yeah. Like he he basically he's bashing Hugo Weaving for having a job but not really caring about it while people are struggling for for work these days." And that's pretty. That's, that's pretty much um, conf that's confirming that. How I feel about Shia. Yeah. yeah. And that's pretty much confirming yeah. right there that Hugo Weaving's not going to be in Transformers Four, because you know yeah. what what he did to uh, Megan Fox when as soon as uh, she called Michael Bay Hitler. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye yeah. bye. <laughs> <laughs> he got her back in the movie too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That stupid bitch. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I'm, uh, and they re also released the Transformers 4 uh, teaser logo, I guess, which is kind of a me metal four uh, yeah. with a Decepticons uh, logo, half of it on re kind of reflecting it. Really cool. Right. I like yeah. it. Uh, I like it. I don't know if they should have used an Autobot logo instead, but I don't know. Well, it's cool. Well, they they kind of used the Autobot for. Uh, one and three, and Decepticon for two. Oh, so yeah. they're, maybe they're just doing a little pattern there. Probably, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of bad, but also kind of good news in the same. Uh, Masterpiece Soundwave and Encore Fortress Maximus have been delayed a month each. I'm glad. Because yeah, because I mean that gives me, because I, I definitely want to get both of these, but I'm definitely going to get Fortress Maximus first. And that'll give me enough time to uh, save up either money or credits for uh, both of them. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I'm. S everyone knows how super stoked I am for Fortress Maximus. Like, it, it's, it is my holy grail. Well, same here. Yep. Yeah. So you, I never had one. Yeah. I had, uh, I had a Brave Maximus, and I was so stupid. I sold it for next to nothing. Oh. And it was when it was back when uh, probably about two thousand and two or three I got it, and I was I was still you know pretty big collector then, but not as like really dedicated as I am now. Right. And I just I mean it, the novelty was cool, but like in my state of mind, I just like. Yeah, it's pretty neat, but it's just going to sit there for a while, some time pass, and I end up selling it. And especially up until recently, like, I started re or I got the uh, Transformers Headmaster series on uh, DVD by Shout Factory. I was watching, it's like, God damn, I wish I wouldn't have fucking sold that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's, I, he's, a, he's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've been planning to uh, repurchase a Brave Max because buying a G1 Fortress Maximus would is just out of the question for me. It's too much. Right. And so I was super, super excited to see Encore Ford Max be confirmed. And it doesn't hurt my feelings at all for this delay. No, no problem for me. Yeah. I mean, the holidays are heavy for me, mm -hmm. so so it's good. Helps. So it's going to be released in late March. So that means BBTS won't get it till late April. So that gives me actually an extra month to save up for it because the, the, it's going to take them uh, four weeks to get their shipment in via airmail or not airmail, but uh, uh, ship. 
see. Yeah. Because I guess they're ordering so many and they're so big. Yeah. That's good, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For a lot of people, definitely. Some other Transformers I... uh, were released. Um, uh, one that I'm, mi- that I'm mildly interested in um, is the uh, Bruticus Maximus uh, Energon figure, Asia exclusive G1 color, was released. Yeah, I saw that. Do you think it's it's a good mold? You like that? Mm. There's no hands. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, especially for 130 bucks. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I can't. I, there's definitely that appeal in it, especially with that uh, fans project set that came out. Right. I can definitely see the appeal in that, but as a standalone, it's all right. Just. I, I was never really too into the Energon figures, especially the combiners. I had uh, half-assed uh, Superion, and it was always just a pain in my ass to me. Right. And uh, especially the connectors, I just uh, they were just weak sauce to me. Yeah, I'd rather have the uh, Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. Uh, yeah, and that, that uh, the Japanese version that's actually coming out next month too. Yeah. Which is going which is gonna be more or less the same as the San Diego Comic Con one. Right. Yeah. Um it's more expensive. Yeah, wait wait. Actually I don't think it's actually gonna be that more expensive. Well I mean the San Diego the one was released at for a hundred bucks at the con. But now right. but now like you you can't get them for uh like no, no less than two hundred now on eBay, but I think the uh, Japanese one, uh, yeah, it's still not much cheaper. It's a hundred and seventy-four, but yeah, I would still, I'd rec- recommend getting the G two pretty cassette. I plan on get, I, I would like to get that, but just keep it in box. Yeah, the whole thing. Looks really good in the package. I, I I wouldn't want to open it unless I bought two. Very very nostalgic, because of yeah. course, I, uh, right down to the tech specs. Mm-hmm. Oh really yeah, pretty. the artwork it's beautiful. Yeah. Um. They they also released a premium version of the Striker Optimus Prime from Darker Than the Moon, which I own. Uh, it was basically just adding some more paint apps and giving some uh, shiny chrome and some shiny silver paint. Um, the only thing that they added that I really like, but I already have, is the swords. But I also right. got the swords, which were sold uh, separately and were very limited. Um, but I, I like the... I, I don't know if this is me being biased because I own the original, but I like the original one better because it has a much darker gray color scheme. It's not just a uh, prototype gray plastic. It's very dark. It's very uh, muted. Like it looks like a robot that's been through a lot of war. It doesn't look like right. fresh off the factory like this premium one does. Yeah. Like the, the, the very darker blues, the darker reds, the very dark uh, grays on his feet and his arms. I like. I just like. While well, this does, lo- it looks nice. It just looks too nice to be fully believable. Looks looks too perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you I think agree. you think you're gonna get it? I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence on it. I like it, but I already have a leader prime. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Still. Uh, 199 bucks. I don't know. 189 on the uh, Toy Arena. Sheesh. That's uh, ouch. Mm-hmm. Um. Let's see. Tempted though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, Are you gonna get the uh, what's masterpiece sound wave? Am I gonna get it? Yeah, Do you like that one. It, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Just yeah. it's still a little bit too pricey for me to get it right before Fortress Maximus comes out. 
Yeah, that's true. So, uh, that's definitely one that I, I'll, if it gets released in the U.S., definitely then. Uh, I think he will, because Soundwave is a popular character. Very popular. And they might just, and because of the, if it's cheaper going to be in the U.S., they might throw in more of the cassettes. Like they, yeah, that's too. Especially they, they've been seem to be throwing more extras, like uh, in the U.S. sets. Like um, they threw in that Target Master with Rodimus, so they might throw yep. in one or two more cassettes. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's definitely one I'll be keeping an eye out for. Um, I did forget to mention earlier, but because I guess it's not brand new. But in the, since the last uh, show, I did off of BBTS get a uh, uh, Prime Voyager class Ultra Magnus. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we That's, we kind of already talked yeah. about it last week, but I um, obviously that show was long lost, and uh, I'm very disappointed in that figure. So it hasn't changed since then. Nope. Huh? If anything, it's kind of degraded itself because, especially just some of the articulation just is really funny. Not good funny, it's like just bad funny. Like some, uh, like his, he has ball jointed wrists, which normally allow for great amount of movement, right? But the way the transformation goes is that the sided vehicle uh, folds around his forearms and completely covers up the ball joint on his on his wrist so it just gives a tiny tiny bit of wiggle room uh, yeah and transformation's not very fun it's oversimplified it really does just feel like a over uh, upscaled commander classes and talked about it earlier uh, with all of you that um especially in the review that his since his ball jointed shoulders are fairly loose that they can hold his arms just fine by themselves but as soon as you put the weapon in his arm you cannot pose it whatsoever yeah I'm, that's a shame I mean it, the figure still looks really nice but that's about it it's definitely on BBTS it's overpriced I would say get don't get it for any more than retail yeah, I canceled my order because I'm sure I'll see him in Walmart or something. I have but, you seen Thundertron? No, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I'm. I'm been. Uh, I've been looking for Thundertron because I. I put some nail polish around his uh, ball joint. That'll help on his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, I could do do something like that because it's definitely way too loose to support any anything in his arm, yeah. especially that big ass weapon that he has the weapon itself is pretty cool just too damn big they weren't even trying on the alt mode no it's like let's just cover his legs up and and his the, basically the whole front of the vehicle just goes onto his back yeah it, I, I I love the character I, I like Ultra Magnus in general yeah, especially this is like especially since hell? animated they've really redeemed that character and making him just the definition of yeah. badass. And, you know, especially when you compare it to that, mm -hmm. it really starts to pale. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I'm kind of disappointed in the prime line. But, uh, really? I'm, I'm still pretty happy with most of it, but... You got some gems, but you also have some real losers, too. Some, yeah. Like, yeah. Are, what would you consider to be the losers of the prime line? Well, they weren't even trying with Bumblebee. The Prid one, at least, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I'm uh, really, I, I can't forgive Hasbro for what they did to Knockout. Such a cool character, and they give him such a crappy toy. It could definitely be better, but it still has a little bit of charm in it for me. I mean, I, could, I appreciate it, what they do, but it's as, I do think I do, that they could have did a little bit more to make it more accurate uh, especially yeah. in the paint job paint job is very lacking I was actually kind of considering ordering the uh, repo labels uh, well, I'm definitely ordering that 
because I, I can't deal with it. They could have at least painted the wheels yellow. Yeah, it definitely needs Hasbro. more yellow. That's one of like the most pop out character uh, pop out colors for that character is the yellow. Yeah, so it, it's like they're not even trying. Yeah, that, that bugs me. They they did a good uh, job with that uh, wheeljack repaint. Um, what's that? Uh, that that yellow oh, one. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I mean, they, that guy has like a ton of paint apps. He looks great. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't they do that for a character that's actually on the show? I mean, I don't know. Really, guys? You know. So. What other ones do you consider to be the losers? Yeah. Uh, that's let's see, Black Arachnia or Ar Arachnia as, she, as we call her now. Yeah. I mean that that I I won't even look at that. I'm still happy I got the Arms Micron version of that because it was somewhat more enjoyable for me, applying the stickers and building the Micron and yeah, and just so it has definitely more play value to me. But if I were to pay like just the ten bucks and just got that figure, like that's it, I would have been very upset with. It. While I'm still pretty upset with how annoying some of the things are on it, it's still. I mean, I'm I don't regret p like, spending more on it. Right. Unless it's usually I find my, I'd find myself out get the arms micron of arm the uh, AM version of any any character unless it's like retarded expensive. Um, I yeah I'd basically pretty much go with well, except for knockout. I would basically call those and I wouldn't say for or, uh, Ultra Magnus is a loser of them. But um, I would say Pred Cliff Jumper is damn near a loser of those. Yeah, I forgot about him, but you're right. I can't stand him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but his alt mode is great, but his robot mode is just eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his robot. His, his vehicle mode is damn near identical to the first edition. Yeah. Just a tiny bit smaller, but uh, yeah, that robot mode is crap <clears throat> because I was, I was originally going to just settle for that one but then I got him and said I was like wow yeah same here I was like yeah, it won't be that bad and then uh huh it's bad yeah. you know um oh yeah Stop. I almost forgot uh, one thing kind of been going into the thug life style uh portion of the show um Recently, my son, my oldest son, Zach, who's going to be three next month, was just on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Awesome. Yeah, because uh, every year, Jimmy Kimmel does a segment where he has users, not users, viewers, um, sending videos of telling their children that they all their candy and get in their, their reactions. And, right. and uh, my wife did that. And... Uh, he was he, Zach was one of the few that uh, they selected, and it was really awesome to see or hear the audience reacting to seeing my, my son's reaction to being told he has no candy. He didn't cry or anything. He got really pissed off. But at first, <laughs> he kind of gasped like he puts his hands over his mouth, goes, <gasps> then he runs away and screams up, screams at Kenna, and goes and basically just like sticks, it goes. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that's one of his favorite things to do now, and basically just, just like kind of whine about. Um, well, that's that's a good accomplishment there. Yeah. It's hard to get on uh, stuff like that. That's a, that's actually the people. second time he's been on national TV. The first time was when uh, some news, uh, ABC News, I think. I'm not sure the video. I have the video somewhere. Was doing a study about. Uh, toddler snoring and my wife took a video of him in his car seat snoring and they I don't know how they found it but they just asked asked her if they could use that video for their story cool yeah there we go yeah <laughs> and I'll post a link to both uh, the original video of Zachary's reaction and the full because Jimmy Kimmel actually uh, just uploaded the, like the whole little section uh, about a week or so ago, so you can see not only Zach's reaction, but like all the other kids' reactions. 
awesome. That's cool, definitely. Yeah, I'll post that in the uh, video's description so everyone can check it out. Um, let's see. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of late. It's Eat. close to two a.m. over here because. Uh, oh yeah. And of course. You gonna get that uh, Disney abomination with the Disney characters turning into one big robot? No. What's a? That's what I call it. I call it an abomination, but. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's on Big Bad Toy Store. It's like you've got Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy, and other Disney characters that combine into one large robot. No, I didn't see that. Uh, send me a link in the uh, in the chat. I'll check it out. All right, I'm trying to find it here. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funky looking. It's expensive too. Is it uh, by actually by Takara Tomy? I don't think so. I think it's by somebody else. But uh, apparently the. Uh, Disney's not buying Hasbro. That's good. See, I, I I don't think that would have been a bad idea if Disney bought a Hasbro. Really? Because, think of it. I mean, Hasbro has a lot of difficulty do with uh, distributing their toys and getting the numbers that they have. While if you see that, like, a lot of uh, Disney product toys, there's always a huge amount of them. And they always, the quality of them always seems to be good. Right. <coughs> There don't there not seem to be favorited any stores. Every store seems to have the same amount of Toy Story figures, uh, whatever uh, Wreck It Ralph figures. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that if Disney actually did buy Hasbro, uh, it would basically save the company, and you would see maybe a, a, a jump in quality and jump in numbers. So, because I, right. I was kind of hoping that it would be a, a that a, a real thing that was happening. Apparently it was just a rumor. <laughs> just a rumor. I don't know. I, I just don't trust Disney. They've done well with Marvel and stuff, but I just... It's just one of those funny feelings, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of Disney, something I've been really, really wanting to talk about is their latest acquisition of uh, Lucasfilm. Oh, Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? That stirred up the internet like crazy, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I, I don't care. It's like, it doesn't bother me either way. I don't know why. Are you not, I, are you I, not a big Star Wars fan? I am, and I think, in this case, I think it'll be better. Because I think Lucas sort of ran out of steam, with uh, the movies at least. <laughs> ran out, he ran out of steam in the early 80s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, 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 the prequels with Anakin and Vader, you know, it was cool when it first came out, but now I just don't care. I still think Revenge of the Sith is a good film. I, I can't stand Phantom Menace, and Attack of the Clones is pretty good, too, but... Um, if, and the last one was good, yeah. but the first two are just like, bleh. I just don't like the... the I just thought the scripts were, were not as good. So... Mm. Um... But it was really cool that uh, George Lucas he he he, he uh, sold it for four billion, and he actually donated all of that money to a education uh, charity. Yeah, that is awesome. But I mean, that's still nothing to the other billions and billions of dollars he already has. Yeah, no, he's like oh, here's some <laughs> so he basically for just you. like kind of gave away his company for free. Well, he still uh, has some control. I mean, Disney has him on board. Uh, just as like a creation consultant, right? Yeah. Yeah. But even, um, I think they a actually interviewed, I don't know who interviewed uh, Mark Hamill, but I think he actually said, when he heard that they're making a Episode 7, he's like, oh, that's a terrible idea. 
<laughs> well, it depends how they, you know, what they're going to do in Episode 7. I mean, you know, I don't know if you've ever, ever read the books, but I, they're actually pretty good. I've never read any of the books. Hold on one second, please. All right. Yeah, I've never read any of the books, but um, I'm I'm very curious about this about this uh, route they're going with them. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a direct sequel where it's going to be like a a new empire that may rise up, or if it's going to have the same characters or what. I have no idea. We'll find I out. Would, but... I would really like if they had brand new characters. Maybe a few cameos of the old ones, but I don't want it to really focus. Yeah, as a cameo, I wouldn't mind. You know, Mark Hamill and a few others showing up. Mm-hmm. But, uh, the, the, the books are pretty good where you have, you know, a whole new breed of Jedi, you know, and a whole new set of things going mm-hmm. on. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, not all of them are good, but it, it, it could be interesting. I think there's potential. The only th- good potential. The only thing that truly kind of worries me is about, about Disney owning it is because Disney's become kind of uh, infamous for making endless sequels to all their classics. Like, just... Like, no one expected like to see a Cinderella 2 or 3... But they yeah. made them, and I mean, late with their latest. Of course, they bought out Disney or not Disney, uh, Marvel, a few years ago, and now they're making at least like two Marvel movies every year. Um, but we're not, yeah. not sure how much of a direct uh, influence that comes from Disney, but it'll be it's an awful big coincidence. And with them announcing Episode Seven the same day that they buy Lucasfilm, that's um. That's kind of they, worse. They've been thinking about it for a while, haven't mm-hmm. they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think still think that's the best part of that story is the fact that George Lucas basically just donated all of his money that he got from that spy out. Yeah, very, that very was cool. A mad amount of respect for him for doing that. Not just some greedy, greedy guy anymore. Uh, not some soul sucking vampire. Right. Thanks for the check. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, you sent. Let's see. Oh, I did see that image, but I, I thought it was like some 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 sort of Robo Sentai thing. I did. Right. I didn't know it was Disney. Wow, that thing's weird. Yeah. Got. They got all of them. Got Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Pluto's house, a tugboat looks like Goofy. That's Steamboat Willie. Oh, yeah. Steamboat Willie. Steamboat oh, Willie, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, it is. It forms the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, Daisy, that looks weird. Is that something? That's a hundred eighty bucks. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> huh? Or you can buy that Castle Grace Cup for three hundred sixty-nine dollars. Your choice. Or not. I was by Band- Bandai <laughs> Japan. You know, I was I, yeah. I was actually <clears throat> on Mattel's website, MattyCollector.com. I actually uh, got the link from uh, your video that your cool little pre-order video that you did. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty neat how you did that. Um, and I was checking that out. Then they, uh, I don't understand what they're like. Are they looking for funds to actually make the thing, or is it some? What's that fundraiser for? Mattel panics. I, I, I don't understand what is wrong with their management, but they are the most insecure bunch of executives you'll ever see in a company. Uh-huh. And, you know, they want, like, guaranteed sales or they won't do it. And it's kind of weird because, you know, nothing is guaranteed when you're producing products. You know? Right. So they want to guarantee a certain amount before they even make it. So they even haven't started making it yet. You know? Hello? 
Hello. Did I lose you? What? Andrew? Are you there? Hello. Hello? Hello? Oh god. This is not good. Not good. Um, apparently call dropped. Looks like we're losing connection. Hey. Yeah, lost you there for yeah. a little bit. Did you please tell me you didn't stop recording? I did not stop okay, recording, though. Okay, thank no. God. No, no. Where was I? Oh, with Mattel. I don't know how much you've heard, but they're the most paranoid executives you'll ever find in any company. And what they want is guaranteed sales before they actually make it. And they've been doing this pretty much for... The, the classics line in general I mean you know they were looking for a certain number of subscribers for the line to continue and now they want a certain number of pre-orders before they actually make the thing wow so that that it's definitely some major insecurity there so they have, they haven't even started making it yet there's no prototype of any kind <laughs> I mean you're, you're just buying out of you know faith basically that it won't suck. So, I mean, if you pre-order the thing, do you have to pay for it up, right? No, they don't. They don't charge you anything. Uh, like, uh, there's no uh, small fee or anything like that. It's zero dollars. But you're pretty much SOL if you want to cancel. Really? Yeah. You, you have to I mean, buy it no matter what. Well, I mean, you can cancel your card. Oh, you can't but... cancel an order. No, it, it's pretty hard to do it, if impossible. And their customer service is horrible. I'm, I'm sorry, Mattel, but it's true. <laughs> so. Wow, that's some deep yeah. shit there. I mean, I I'm not. I, I like I like Masters of the Universe. I know I'm in the minority probably in this video, with the viewers for that. But mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. You know, it, it, it's a part of my childhood that I enjoyed, and right. 2012 is my last year for the subscription, and 2013, the only thing I'm getting is probably two figures at the castle, and that's it. Because I, I'm just worn out with their service. <laughs> right, I, I was somewhat into Masters of the Universe when I was young. I had a few. Uh, I think I had Beast Man... Um, I I I think I had He Man. I had one really furry guy. And these are these are Probably. original masters of the universe figures. Yeah. Um. But I I, I it was always just a Transformers kid when I was young, so I can definitely understand why people are really into Masters of the Universe, especially since it came out around the same time. But never was quite my thing. I was more of a giant robot guy. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think they're both up there for me. I mean, for me, uh, there's a story behind Masters of the Universe that uh, I, I nearly died from meningitis back then. No, really? And no one knows how I got it. Somehow I got it. And uh, when I was recovering... Uh, my dad was so thrilled that he just went crazy and got me Castle Grayskull and a bunch of He-Man figures, and that just sort of sort of lasted with me the whole time in terms of you know fond memories, because he never did anything like that. Wow. He was like you know. So so you, you know, have a, a pretty emotional attachment with a uh, emotional yeah. attachment because right. he didn't buy me a lot of stuff, but when he did, it was like the most awesome thing ever, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, he got me G1 Jetfire, and you know, just just stuff that I'll always uh, remember fondly. So, 
Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. Some of the some of some of the Masters of the Universe figures, the classics, do look really nice. Like I saw uh, Vangelis's review of the uh, of the um, uh, oh, fuck, what's his name? Um, bad guy, Skeletor. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That that looks like a really really good figure, especially compared to. The original, all, all the '80s originals are in a pooping position. Oh, I know. <laughs> Who thought of that? I don't know. <laughs> ready? We're all constipated. Ready, let's, all, let's all fight! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, ready. Shorty. I'm so ready to fight him, turtle head in right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sad. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. But back then, they were like the greatest thing since candy. But... Bad and Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Ninja Turtles are awesome. A lot of the Ninja Turtles were in pooping positions, too. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't stand very well, no. either. Oh, I did, you know, at the same time I saw that, um, uh, those classic, the, when I went to Toys R Us and I saw the, uh, first editions, deluxes that I saw, I did see for the first time the TMT, uh, classics line figures. Cool. Uh, I, they only had one. One figure, uh, and it was Donatello. Um, those are really neat. They're they're they're, they're, big they're, too. they're a hell of a lot. I was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Yeah. I was like expecting to be the same size as the new ones. And so I no, so I can under- they're a lot taller. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're awesome too. And I like the packaging and everything, but yeah, twenty bucks is pretty. Yeah, I, mean, I can understand that amount, but I mean that's what like eighty bucks for all four of them if you can find all four. If I already, if well, I I, I kind of screwed myself because I got two from Toys R Us. So that's forty dollars right there, and and then now I had uh, all four drop in my pile of loot at BBTS for sixty five. Really? Yeah. Damn. So. So now I got two extra. Oh well. Yeah, because I would like to get those and just like have them on like on display in their boxes because I love that box art. Front and back is awesome, mm-hmm. yeah. Just very nostalgic because I remember getting all the original Ninja Turtles and the Technodrome and the and the in the van. It's like Transformers, Turtles, and were pretty much my biggest obsessions in the '80s when I was a kid. That and Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, I had a lot of those too. Um, yeah. the only one I have left is Egon. You know, I, I I think a lot of those, a lot of mine just got destroyed. Yeah, same here. Oh, speaking of first editions, do you have the first edition of Voyager Optimus? Nope, never got him. Okay, so you know that he's like been re released, right? Re-released with missing paint apps. Yeah, yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, with brown paint apps on the side of the truck. What's what's up with that? That's bare plastic. What the hell? <laughs> like, they it's not even painted. It's just molded plastic. And how can you miss that in a factory? It's like, oh gee, you know, no one will notice that. You know, so it looks horrible. <laughs> well, that, so even though they got re- released, I'm glad. I'm still really glad I was able to get. To the first originals. Okay. I'm still buying it though. I I got the paint that'll match right, it. Right, yeah, you definitely have to pay it. But yeah. yeah, that's you definitely need to get that figure because that is a top notch prime yeah, figure. It's it's awesome. Mm-hmm. That I have I have the print version, but I like that one more. Mm-hmm. The the first edition. I've come to I've better. come to appreciate the print one a little bit more because I gave that figure a thorough bashing in my review because I did not like it at all. But I've come to appreciate what little charm it has. I, I think once I paint the arms and part of the chest, he'll be better. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- those are the two things that bug me the most. Right. Uh, He's got a real chest, though. Right. No fake chest. Love that. But I still think the chest looks better on the first edition. Yeah. And it doesn't. Yeah. Mi- I, I don't mind that it's a fake chest because, I mean... The fake one kind of lays over the uh, truck chest. 
so it's not like it's like you see both of them at the same time or anything like that. Right. So, I mean, that's passable to me. Yeah, it's forgivable. I could deal with it easily. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't... I, I don't think I got anything else to talk about. And we can't do listener questions this week because Anakin's in charge of that account and he... Oh, yeah. he's MIA right now. Yeah, he said some. He said something on Twitter. It was like, things not looking very good over here. You guys just go right ahead. So yeah. I'm like, uh, thank God. I did. Thank God, because uh, I really did not. Thank God, uh, you're here because I really did not want to wait another week to do a, another show. Well, I hope I did all right. Yeah. It's my first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy to have you aboard. Uh, looking forward to the future we have. We'll have uh, with you on the show. Thank and, you. Uh, really glad, because especially in cases where Anakin and Vader will go miss an action or just forget or fall asleep or weather, that uh, you'll still be here. Yep. Yeah, I'll be around. Yep. I love doing this. It's fun. Yep. Uh, so, going to probably cut the show a little bit short since we don't really have any dis discussion topics or questions. So, yeah. Uh, you, if you're not subscribed to me on the on this YouTube channel, what the hell are you doing? Go ahead, click the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ssjautobot. And uh, you can follow Andrew at youtube.com slash or subscribe to him at youtube.com slash uh, sportimus and yep. subscribe to him on or I got them mixed up follow him on twitter twitter.com slash sportimus prime and once again really happy to have you aboard I'm looking forward to doing more episodes with you and you, hopefully sir. we'll get uh, next week we'll have uh, all three of us together definitely We'll have to drag him out here if we have to. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. And until next time, everyone, thank All you for right. listening. Have a good night. Okay. Click. Turning it off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>